And Baker's order today comes amid new protests nationwide following that decision. And that includes last night's demonstration in Providence, which at one point went on to Route 95. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt joins us now live in the capital city with the follow up. Brandon. Well, Mike and Shannon, where were all of this ended, where things really started to escalate last night? One of those protests started in Burnside Park, just about a block from here. Then that group made their way to the Providence Place Mall, and things really grew tense when part of that group walked onto the on-ramp of I-95. This is how hours of protests Wednesday night ended. But this is how it started. A small group of Black Lives Matter Rhode Island members gathering at the Providence Public Safety Complex, holding signs and projecting voices. Black Lives Matter! From there, part of this group joined another, this one in Burnside Park, but carrying the same message. I think that the system needs a lot more than just reformed. I think the system is broken. It is not made for people of color. At about 9 p.m., the crowd mobilized, making their way along Memorial Boulevard toward the Providence Place Mall. They blocked the on-ramp to I-95 for a time before walking up it. The interstate full of traffic, state police using what appeared to be tear gas to disperse the crowd, all in an effort to keep them from blocking the road. If you're going to protest, that's your First Amendment right to do that. That's not the place to do it. 12 News Law Enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell is the former head of the Rhode Island State Police. O'Donnell saying interstates must stay open. It's a matter of public commerce and more so safety, adding any delay to ambulance response times can be critical. That person that doesn't get to the hospital in time that could die could be your mother, your father, your cousin, your neighbor, your friend. So those are the things that you should consider. And Providence police tell us no one was arrested here last night as a result of these protests. We did see some of the protesters, though, washing their face with water after that apparent tear gas was sprayed on them to help disperse those crowds. The group ultimately leaving this area after more than two hours of protesting. Live in Providence, Brandon True at 12 News.